guys, it's Amanda, and today I'm going to talk about my top 10 favorite planner and stationery products that you can buy on Amazon. So this is a collab video with my friend Berlin over at Plan With B. So both of us are doing videos about our favorite planner and stationery products from Amazon. So make sure you go over to her channel and check out her video because she has some amazing stuff in there that you're not gonna wanna miss. And if you're not aware, Berlin is who I have done two collabs with for Perfectionism Prints. We worked on the mini finance bundle together and also the editable weekly insert. She has the most amazing ideas for packing a huge amount of efficiency into a small footprint as evidenced by the fact that her main planner is pocket sized, which never ceases to amaze me because I don't know how she fits everything into such a small size. So you can find Berlin on Instagram at underscore plan with B underscore on YouTube um, at plan with B and make sure you check out her blog, which is amazing at www.planwithb.com. She is always posting freebies on there for everybody in multiple planner sizes. Please go check that out because she offers such amazing content on her blog and also planner freebies. All right, so without further ado, let's get into this. And these are in no particular order. First, I'm going to talk about my label maker, which is the Brother P-Touch, and I'll put the exact model number in the description. And everything I'm talking about today, by the way, will be linked in the description. And you guys can pry this out of my cold, dead hands because I am not letting go of it. This thing has become so useful to me. When I first got it, I actually purchased it to label stuff around my house because I went on this organizing binge and I labeled my drawers and my cupboards and all kinds of stuff. And I do think it's really useful for that. But I've also found that it's great for making planner divider labels. Um, you can get a lot of different types of tape for it. Um, because I use a darker colored planner, I really like to have the white text because I think it stands out better against the black of my planner. Uh, when I'm using a lighter planner, I prefer to use black on clear, but you can find both of these on Amazon. This label maker is really easy to use. Um, you can use a lot of different fonts. It even has like different symbols and frames, and I'm sure I haven't even tapped half of the potential of this thing. The font that I like to use is Atlanta, uh, and I like to use it in all caps. And here, I'll just type a sample for you. Hello. See Berlin, I'm singing my videos too. And so we do print and so of course it's gonna be hard to see because the tape I have in here is the white text on <laughs> clear. But if you look at any of my planner pictures on Instagram, and look at my tabs, you can see it's the same font on there too, and it's a little easier to see, but um, so that, that's what it prints like. And one little tip that I'm gonna tell you, I set mine to print on the chain print setting, and that will save you a lot of tape. Maybe I can do another video just on this label maker, because I feel like going into all the details of that is going to make this video way too long. So anyway, if you guys are interested in seeing a dedicated video on how I use my label maker and the settings that I use, let me know. Um, next, this is something that's relatively new. This is an accordion envelope and I am experimenting with how to use this right now and I don't even have it all set up yet, but I just wanted to put a couple personal wide inserts in here to show you how they fit. Um, I'm actually thinking of using this to archive my old planner inserts. Like, There's 12 different sections, so it would be perfect to label one for each month and then to use this to store your used planner pages for each month. It even comes with like, I'm really not digging this color scheme, but it does come with labels. Uh, for each month. And then another thing you could use it for would be to um, put inserts that you haven't used yet or blank inserts in here. 
And for personal wide size, they do stick up a little bit. Here, I'll try to make it so you can see. They, they do impede the reading the label a little bit. Um, let's see what an A6 size would do. All right, so this is A6. Oh, those fit perfectly. If you have um, like pocket inserts that you've already cut to size or A6 um, or even personal size, those would fit really well in here to where you could see your labels really clearly. Um, the personal wide, like they still fit, it'll still close, but it's just, it is gonna make it a little bit harder to see like your labels. I didn't wanna get a full letter size or A4 size accordion file. So even though I feel like this could be maybe a little bit taller to better accommodate personal wide inserts, I still think it's a really good solution for storing inserts or archiving them. So there's that. The next thing I have um, are these um, highlighters or markers, however um, you consider them. The Mark Plus um, markers by Kokuyo. And I'm pretty sure this is a Japanese brand. I have just been using these for the last couple of weeks, but I really like them. Um, on one end, they have a chisel tip highlighter and then on the other end a fine point marker and i actually feel like that's not a combination that you find a lot i mean there are a lot of dual brush pens or dual tip pens but i really like these because i use them to highlight certain things throughout my day with you know the chisel tip and then to write notes if i want to with the with the fine tip so i love how fine this writes and I love that it matches the highlighter color. So I will show you what all of the colors look like. They're all pretty mild. This is the purple. This is the teal. I don't know if these have actual color names. I'm totally making these up. I really like that color, it's really pretty. Actually, I like all three of those colors together. There's the yellow. Oh, that's really nice. I actually had not written with this one yet. And I really like that you can actually see the yellow text. It's actually, the um, fine liner is a little bit darker than the highlighter color, but I don't mind it because the fine liner is more of a mustard color that actually shows up when you're trying to write with it. So I think that is wonderful. And then finally we have the pink, red, I'd call that a coral. There you go, guys. The next thing is a universal hole puncher by Rapesco. And this is a really popular one. I heard about it on um, like a planner or Facebook group or something like that. And this comes in a bunch of different colors. This is obviously the white one. And it will punch pocket size, mini size, personal size, A5 um, to punch personal. You pull it out to the um, personal setting. This also works for personal wide at that same setting. Um, and then if you pull it out almost all the way, and this is timer 21. I don't know if that's supposed to be like a day timer or what, but as you can see, there's also an A5 marking. So if you set it to that A5 marking, you can punch A5, but just to be aware, you have to um, flip the paper in order to be able to punch it appropriately. I'll show you. In this one's already punched, but you'll be able to get the idea. So, so you would put it in on one side and punch, and then you would flip the paper around and then punch again. So it is a little bit annoying to have to flip it for the A5 size. In fact, I would say like if you're only using A5 size, I would recommend getting um, maybe the Filofax um, six hole punch that's specifically for A5 size, or there is one that um, that Michaels sells as well that I have not personally used, but I have heard good things about. But if you are a planner hopper like me, it's helpful to have one that punches everything. And this will also punch A6. This is pre-cut A6 and pre-punched A6 paper, but I just wanna kinda show you how you would do it. Um, so, 
Oh, and then the other thing I forgot to mention is these, um, I don't know what you call these things. The punch part, <laughs> that's not the word, like, I don't know what it's called. But anyway, these, these move too. And I mean, it shows you here, like, what you have to move them to for each size. But anyway, so for A6, they go to this middle place. It has to be lined up to be like exactly in the middle of the punch because the A6 fits almost exactly between like this white part here. And then you would put it in and punch it. So that's how you do A6. And then if you want to do pocket size, then you push it um, all the way in so the punch parts are um, the closest together. And so anyway, I find this really useful. And while we're talking about punches, uh, I'm gonna show you this. This is a corner punch, and some people will punch their planner inserts to round the corners. I don't do that because I'm too lazy, but I do punch journaling cards that I make or that I receive. And this one has three different sizes that it will punch. And so I'll just kind of show you, there's a guide in here that kind of takes out the guesswork. So the 10 millimeter one is like a larger radius, I guess. That's probably what that R stands for is radius. And the, well, the next, we'll do the seven millimeter, millimeter, millimeter one. So you can see that one is like a little bit smaller of a radius. And then the four millimeter one is honestly the one that I use the most because I'm normally punching like small um, business size cards. And that one obviously has like the smallest radius. But I actually, when I bought this, I thought I was only gonna use it for one project that I was working on then, but I've actually used this a lot, so. I would definitely recommend it. Now, the one thing is this does not have anything to catch the paper scraps. So just something to be aware of. I think you could easily, I mean, even just like put some scotch tape over the bottom of this and it would catch it. Uh, maybe not the most elegant solution, but it would definitely work if that bothered you. Next, this is my favorite planner pen and it's technically a fine liner. It's a felt tip pen, um, and I do not know how to pronounce this brand. It's either Copic or Copic, and I have no idea. One thing I really like about this is that the tip is really resilient, and if you're somebody who's used Sharpie pens a lot, you'll know that if you're a heavy-handed writer, and I am, the tip of the, um, like the felt tip of the pen will get worn down over time with a Sharpie marker, but with, the, with this one, it is a little more expensive, but the tip um, holds up much, much better. And you can get refills for this pen and the refills look like this. So then you don't have to like rebuy the pen barrel every time that you run out of ink. And this is water and Copic proof, like for Copic markers and it's pigment ink. So it's like, um, it's a very rich black. It's much more black than a Sharpie pen, which almost looks gray compared to this. So that's another thing I really like about it. And it is, I mean, it says 0 0.5, but compared to my other 0 0.5 millimeter pens, it writes pretty heavy, but, um, but I, I like a heavier pen. So anyway, really like that pen. Okay, so the next thing is a Stology notebook. This is a five size, but they come in a lot of different sizes. I don't know all the sizes, but I'll look it up and I'll link what I can find in the description. And this has really thin paper, not quite as thin as a Tomoe River paper, but still pretty thin. And um, I think it's uncoated. I don't think it's coated like Tomoe River. This actually has 365 pages in it. And I mean, they consider a page to be like, this side is one page and this side is two pages. Um, but, you know, the idea is that you could write one page for every day of the year. And the paper's nice. I mean, there is like ghosting with this paper, but you don't get a lot of bleed through. And um, I mean, there are probably a million videos on Stologies out there, but in case you didn't know, you could get them on, on Amazon. 
you can. I like the fact that the Stologies don't have an elastic closure on them because that makes it a lot easier to fit them inside of a leather notebook cover if that's what you choose to do. Next, I'm gonna talk about something that I've mentioned a lot of other times on this channel, um, and that is the Handy Forms pre-cut, pre-punched planner paper. Now, this one is the only one I could find that was still in the plastic. And this is the Handy Forms um, blank paper for personal wide planners, 200 sheets. I don't actually think you can get this particular variation on Amazon because um, I think they only sell them in quantities of 50 sheets. And I'm not sure if you can get the personal wide size on Amazon. Um, if you go to Handy Forms website, they have a lot bigger selection than they just have on Amazon. But I know you um, can get the A5 size um, on Amazon, you can get A6, you can get personal size, and I'll link all of those in the description. And if you wanna know more about how I use and print on the pre-cut, pre-punched paper, I will link my video where I talk about that below. But this is the way to print planner inserts. I will tell you that right now, or at least in my opinion. Next, I'm gonna talk about this ruler. Um, this is a Midori multi-ruler. And I think these come in different colors. I like the clear one. What I really like about this is that it has a small footprint so you can easily carry it in a pen case, like 15 centimeters across, but it can fold out to a full 30 centimeters, which is really nice. And I like that it's clear because you can easily see what you're measuring. And um, it also has a protractor on here, which I think is pretty cool. If you're trying to make sure that something is like completely square and straight, um, especially if you're doing like bullet journal spreads or something, I think that would be really useful. And um, when you extend it all the way like this, there's hardly any bump there at all. Like if you are drawing a straight line, there's no bump there or anything when you're drawing here, I'll show you. It's probably not the best pen to draw this with, but. I just want to show you. All right. Well, ignore that my line weight is not the same <laughs> across the whole thing, but like you can see, like you can barely tell like where the middle is. So that's just a really nice tool to have. I find myself using a ruler all the time, mostly for drawing straight lines. I do wish that it had inches on it. I will say that. And finally, I am going to talk about my Canon selfie. This is the CP 1300 photo printer. And I think they have a newer model. I saw Planner Mumsy talk about it in one of her videos recently, and I'll try to find that and link it in the description. But um, one thing that I like about this, it is bigger than like, um, what do they call it? Like a sprocket or there's another really popular one, like the really small photo printers. It's bigger than that but the quality is way better and it can print up to four by six inch photos, which is really nice. And so, I mean, I bought this to use in my planner, but honestly, I've also used it a lot for just printing out photos. Like say we're at a family get together and we take a picture together and, you know, I print out pictures for people um, before they leave. I don't know. It's just nice to have like a physical picture sometimes. But I do use it for my planner and there's an app on your phone that you can use with it. And I usually, when I'm putting stuff in my planner, I will print um, like a four by six photo, but I'll, div I'll divide it into like four or eight different photos with the app. They also do sell a smaller paper for this. And I think it's like, I can't remember if it's business card size. I think it's business card size, which is, um, 3.5 inches by two inches. And I'll, I'll look it up to be sure, but you can buy that paper. It needs like a special adapter to be able to use it though. And that just seemed like way too much fuss for me. <laughs> so I just use the regular four by six paper and just cut it up and it's more economical that way too. I will say like, my inkjet printer will print better quality photos than this, but the this will print better quality photos than a lot of the pocket size photo printers out there like the Sprocket. You'll get better definition, you'll get brighter photos, you'll get uh, photos that are more true to color, 
All right, guys, those are my planner and stationery favorites from Amazon. So if you haven't already, make sure you hop on over to Berlin's channel at Plan With B and check out her favorite stationery and planner items that you can buy on Amazon. And have a great day.